Future cast is showing that you could definitely see the front pushing on through into the Atlantic. And all the rain, it is clearing up in our area. And the rain was just going to be staying offshore for the next couple of days. So it's going to be a nice dry weekend for us and nice dry couple of next, next couple of days in our area as well. For tonight in Tallahassee, it's 34. What Daniel was saying earlier is we're not at freezing technically, but just make sure you do bring your jackets with you, your scarves, because it is going to be a little chilly out there. And then for tomorrow, 60 in Tallahassee, just a little bit cooler tomorrow as compared to today. But that sunshine will be sticking around. And as we move on into March with our seven day, we have a chance of rain increasing a little bit up until Thursday. And we do have the lingering clouds and we still have a lack of sun, which is ironic for this being a sunshine state. But look at Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday's temperatures. We're in the mid to upper 70s, something we have not seen in quite some time. Water vapor is showing that pocket of dry air down in the southeast and in southern Florida. And we have that dry area in our area as well. But if, again, looking where the northeaster is in the northeast above the Carolinas, there is a lot of moisture up there and a lot of snow associated with that. Well, we're taking it to the next level here on the Love Building, literally five levels up. Yep, that's right. We're up here on the roof of the Love Building because it's such a nice day, so we we're just like, you know, we got to get out of the studio and get up, get outside. Yes, we do. We're enjoying the lovely weather of the Sunshine State. There's no clouds, maybe a few here and there, but it's absolutely gorgeous outside. We have snow cover in a lot of the United States, specifically the northern New England area. And also we have this new little weather maker in northern Texas and Colorado and even in New Mexico. And that's going to be stretching its way up to New England yet again. So they're going to be seeing some more snow. And you can see this again right in this area. And it's starting to move past Oklahoma, Missouri. And it's going to continue to track up to the north yet again. And they're going to be continuing to see a lot more snow in that area, something they don't want to see. I'm sure it was what, millions of people that saw that in the UK? Yeah, I'm sure. I mean, it's 9.35 is early for me, but I don't know. Maybe they were up. Yeah, hopefully they saw it. I'm pretty sure it was very early for us. I mean, I, we had to be sleeping when this happened. Yeah, we, I definitely was. But bringing it back locally to us in Tallahassee, it's currently 88 degrees. It's mostly cloudy, and these clouds will continue to build throughout the night and into this weekend as well. It's 59 for a dew point, so we are getting those higher dew points again, bringing in the humidity and extra moisture into our, into our air. And across the area, again, we're in the mid to upper 80s in the Big Bend region. Cooler along the coast of St. Mark's and Carabelle, 88 in Tallahassee, like I was saying earlier. And as we look at satellite and radar, it was clear for most of the day, but the clouds and the northern showers have been coming into our region or later tonight, and they will continue, continue to come in across the night into tomorrow as well. But as you saw earlier this morning, it was nice and clear and sunny. Futurecast is showing that we have a stationary front across our region with a low pressure system situated in Texas with some moisture around it as well. And that's just going to keep bouncing around in Texas, just bringing them a lot of rain. But the stationary front eventually turns into a warm front in our region, bringing in some rain chances as well. And then go from Saturday, it's going to move back up into our area, bringing in some more rain chances. And this low pressure system will continue to move east into our area, again, bringing in all that rain. So the rain chances will be building up going into the weekend, specifically Saturday, Saturday night into Sunday and also into Monday. And then for tonight, it's going to be 64. It's going to be nice and mild, mostly cloudy. Again, chance of rain all night. Both me and Brandon, we're not fond of the rain, so we're probably going to stick it indoors. But the winds are going to be nice and calm, so it's not going to be super breezy. So if you need an umbrella, it's a perfect night for that. They're not going to be blowing away in the wind. And then for tomorrow, a little bit cooler, 84. That is due to the clouds preventing the sun from coming into our area. So it's not going to be warming up as fast. Um, and also we have more showers and isolated thunderstorms. Again, we have a calmer wind. So nothing too bad tomorrow except for a little bit of rain. So if you have outdoor plans, maybe keep them for the morning. But into, as we progress on into the night, it's not going to be super sunny. It's going to just the clouds are just going to continue to build as that Warm front approaches our area and bounces back and forth. And then as we look at the weekly outlook, we have 50% chance of rain Saturday, 60 Sunday, and then 70 Monday. And then once the front passes, it's going to be nice and sunny, a little bit of clouds. And then we have our next front occur Thursday through Friday. But the chances of rain 
are not as much as what they were for this weekend. And then you can also see the temperatures drop a little bit, just about six degrees, and then bounces right back up, back into the 80s. But the lows, they're not too bad, 50s, 60s, something we all can handle much better than the 40s and definitely the 30s.